It makes steaks mouth-watering, bacon smell amazing, and almost every other cooked food tastes here too. Let's get to know one of the world's most delicious chemical reactions, the Maillard reaction. If you've ever cooked, or heck, even if you've ever made toast, the Maillard reaction has transformed your raw ingredients into something that tastes crazy good. Sometimes called the browning reaction, Maillard actually involves a cascade of many chemical reactions, all happening while your food is cooking. These reactions involve the sugars and foods rich in carbohydrates, think bread and potatoes, and amino acids, the building blocks of proteins that make up dairy, meat, and nuts. More importantly to cooks and people who like deliciousness, it produces hundreds of compounds, some of which contribute amazing smells and flavors to cooked food. You've got your alkyl pyrazines, which contribute the cocoa flavor or nutty roasted flavor in coffee, or the caramel-like pheromones found in bread and toast, or the meaty thiophenes that pop up in, you know, meat as well as garlic. The color of beer, the smell of popcorn, and even cookies all wouldn't be the same without the Maillard reaction. Since French chemist Louis Camille Maillard first reported this tasty transformation about 100 years ago, scientists have been trying to sort out what actually happens during the Maillard reaction. They're still working out all the details, but here's the gist. Imagine you're cooking a steak, or if you're a vegetarian, a bean-based patty. The amino acids in the steak react with sugary compounds and create a bunch of intermediate compounds. The structure of these products get rearranged and you end up with other compounds. We won't get into the details of these reactions, there are a lot of them, but these intermediates eventually turn into a whole range of delicious flavor and aroma compounds. Or, as a friend of the show and chemistry professor Matt Hardings puts it, all sorts of things happen in this reaction, but eventually, you get to Flavortown. So we've gone over the research, and now we've got some tips to make Maillard work for your food. The Maillard reaction works best somewhere between 230 and 340 degrees Fahrenheit. In this range, the chemical reactions are faster, and the heat evaporates excess water. If the temperature is too high, burning creates charred bitter flavors, so check your temp. If you're in a rush, increasing the pH levels of some foods will speed up the Maillard reaction. Browning some onions, try adding a tiny pinch of baking soda along with a bit of salt for flavor. Baking soda is basic and will increase the pH of the onions. The onions will not only brown faster, they will have a sweet flavor with hints of caramel. Thanks, Maillard! By the way, this doesn't mean your onions caramelize, that process only involves sugars. Oh, and don't add too much baking soda, or you'll have brown, mealy onion goop instead. Have any cooking chemistry tips? Let us know in the comments. And hey, thanks for watching!